Geek Vibes Live is rated G for Geek. Welcome to another Geek Vibes Live interview. Um, I'm your host, Tia, and in about, I would say about four to five minutes, we will be on the line with Mr. Boyd Holbrook. Now, if I sound a little odd announcing that, just know that I have been a fan of Boyd's for quite some time now. Ever since I saw him in the first two seasons of Netflix's Narcos show, I've just been a big fan. I've seen a lot of his things. And we are going to be talking to him today for roughly about 10 minutes once he gets on about Quibi's The Fugitive. Yes, Quibi, the short-form media app, has developed a series based on the very popular TV show and movie, The Fugitive. Um, And that's really cool. Boyd Holbrook is playing the character Mike Farrow. So we'll ask him about his portrayal of Mike, the challenges of filming a show for a short-formed app, as opposed to, say, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, where episodes of shows are typically anywhere in between 30, 40, even 50 minutes long. So these episodes are roughly around seven to eight minutes long. So I just wanted to know from him if there are any challenges there. But in, oh God, now it's already 6.02. So, well, not that you guys need to know the time, but. (laughs) Hello? Hey, Tia. How are you? Hello? Hi, boys. How are you? Uh, <laughs> this is uh, Tia from Geek Fives Nation. I know that you have a really busy schedule, so thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Um, huge fan, by the way, from like Narcos and Logan and all that, so really, really cool. But um, yeah, let's uh, just hop right into this. So um, you play the character uh, Mike Farrow on Quibi's upcoming show, The Fugitive. I was just hoping that you can kind of tell me about your character and also the um, challenges that Mike is going to play within this first season. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you so much for you know the kind words. Um, yeah, I play Mike Farrow, who is a blue collar worker. He's an average everyday guy. Um, he also happens to be an ex-con, and he's trying to get his life back up, rebuild that with his family. Um, when he's um, accused of committing uh, an act of terrorism in Los Angeles, and then we're off from there. <laughs> then we're uh, in the world of of the fugitive. Um, so yeah, it's the it's. It's of the property, The Fugitive, the classic television show, um, the classic film. Um, but yes, definitely set for a modern audience for today. Yeah, I was going to ask what set uh, this version aside from other iterations that we have seen in the past. Well, this is, like I said, Nick Ventura, our writer. Um, shows the topic basic well so it lives in the social media world basically mike's world is kind of picked up in this tornado of a uh, one tweet um accusing him of being the uh, uh the, the guilty guilty party so um you know basically what's happened to johnny Depp, johnny Depp right now is suing the sun um seeing how these tabloids and these um these, you know, one-liner uh, news clippings can just really turn the guy's life upside down. Yeah, certainly the world of, say, clickbait, I guess I would say. Um, so that's definitely what Mike Farrow has to deal with throughout this season. And playing this character, what you know, what's the difference between playing, say, this character and other characters that you have played in the past? 
Um, usually I look for kind of flashier secondary characters. Um, and uh, I think Mike is, is probably one of the, the more normal uh, people, characters that I've um, so that was kind of interesting to me to do. Um, you know, don't work so hard. You know, you're just, you're, you're 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 playing the essence of um, uh, of a guy who's not you know in a comic book movie or chasing Pablo Escobar or something like that. Um, so for me, that was a different explore, exploration, um, and it's kind of cool to explore. And I'm very curious about that. Um, and uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Would you say that you kind of um, felt that this character was relatable for you because he's a father and you're a father, so kind of understanding maybe a little of, like, how he just wants to step up and just be a good dad for his kid? Yeah. I mean, that's a hell of a responsibility. You know, I say that having a child gives you the opportunity of your lifetime to be the best version of you um, because you really there's for you know when you're not providing for someone else you don't really have um, necessity that you know there's a, there's a kind of grand responsibility that makes you step into the shoes of being what it means to be a man um, so yeah it may seem you know kind of surface or simple but um you know those are the nuts and bolts of life absolutely 100 percent sorry (laughs) um so with the fugitive on quibi you know quibi's a short form app a streaming service all their episodes are roughly around eight minutes long was there any sort of challenges that went into filming a show like this or did you not really feel those sort of effects when you were filming the fugitive yeah i didn't really feel that at all because um you know it was like a normal shooting day and you know so prepared for this um pretty much the same way as i do for all the other stuff that i've uh, performed in and you know it's um the days were just as long i think it really comes down to how nick Santora sort of uh created these entrances and exits on the episode that were what he wrote as a feature film and then um within that sort of around that 10 every 10 pages you were getting cliffhangers within a, a, a 140 page script uh, that just read continuous, you know. So uh, it came down to, to, to that and Stephen Comp, Stephen Hopkins, excuse me, uh, our director, uh, sh- you know, getting to those crescendos and these cliffhangers that are, I think, working so well. And obviously the editor who, you know, can keep that tension and that pace. Right, right. And it, it looks amazing um, so far. We're really excited for it. And your co-star kind of is Kiefer Sutherland in this show. How was it working alongside him? Um, well, you know, going, it's, it's kind of a it's surreal situation. You know, you, you I've worked with a lot of actors that I've always looked up to, Um and Keeper's one of them, you know, he's, he's probably maybe made four films that are in the top films of all time, I mean, cult classics. Um, so um, I can't really get caught up in that too much. <laughs> you kind of have to <laughs> push that aside and, and just do your job um, because a lot of this was a two-way street, you know, very much a two-hander. It's always cutting back between Mike and and um, um, Kiefer's character. So uh, we kind of both shared the lifting on that, and to know that you're sharing the lift with Kiefer, it's, uh, you feel like you're in good hands. That's awesome. I think we have and time for one more question, Tia. Perfect. So my okay. last question is, um, Mike is doing a lot of running in this show. Would you say that it was a bit physically demanding shooting The Fugitive? Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, I was, I was 
I wish I had better shoes. I wish I had picked better shoes <laughs> for the character. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I was running, yeah, a couple miles, a couple miles every other day uh, just for this. So that would be cool. Um, yeah, probably I'll, I'll definitely be looking out for that next time. See how much uh, active. This is so damn a long time. That's awesome. Well, Boyd, thank you so much for even sitting down and speaking with me. This has been truly an amazing experience, and I just really wish you all the best of luck, and I hope everyone checks out The Fugitive. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Boyd. <laughs> um, thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you, too, and I'll see you uh, hopefully on the next one. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, later. <laughs>